This video shows how I can add a datum area or a subgrade area. Oftentimes we'll add paving or a driveway and that'll have thickness that we want, won't want to include in the cut fill numbers. So this is one way to account for that in a site plan. I'm going to start by creating a new surface and I'm just going to call it datum driveway and parking and then hit OK. In the surface, I'm going to make a copy of the FG. So I'm going to right click on edits and I'm going to paste the surface in for FG. So that's going to duplicate all the information. I want to right click again and do raise lower the surface. So I'm going to lower my surface, whatever my pavement thickness is. So I'm going to do 0 0.8 feet. And now I have the same surface, but it's just a little bit lower. I have the outline of my pavement area. And right now it's a polyline. So I'm going to convert that into a 3D polyline. I'm going to do that by going to the Modify tab, the Design dropdown, and Convert. 2D to 3D polylines. I want this polyline to have the elevations of the surface of FG. So I'm going to go ahead and click the elevations from surface and select FG. And I'm going to insert intermediate grade breaks. And then I'm going to select the 3D polyline again, and I can see the elevation points it's added. I'm then going to add this to my FG surface as a break line. So this is going to give me the defined surface area for this. Um, looks like I've got some elevation points that are outside the surface. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete those points. And hopefully that resolves it. Ah. Just two more to delete, I think. So that looks a little bit better. So that gives me the outline of it, and that adds all the tin triangles for my break line. For my datum surface, I want to offset this a small amount so I get the vertical face. So I'm going to use the stepped offset. I'm going to offset it 0.1 feet. And I'm going to offset it into the interior. So that gives me a place to have um, a vertical face. I'm then going to take this added value and add it as a boundary for the driveway area. And that's going to shrink up my datum surface. I then want to take this datum surface and paste it into my FG surface, which it won't let me because it's a, a copy of it. So I'm going to create a new surface called datum. And I'm going to right click and paste the FG surface in first. And then right click and paste in my datum driveway and park, parkway. So what this will give me is if I select this datum surface and go into Object Viewer, I should then see the datum surface, so it's not including the asphalt and, pay and base of the driveway area. And I'd want to go ahead and do that for all of the pavement areas or in the building 
to make sure I get accurate earthwork numbers. And so that's how we can create a datum surface that accounts for um, pavement or building areas.